Welcome everybody to the Walk Express Fishing Channel. Today we're not fishing, today we're cooking. Mal away, let's go. Welcome everybody to the Walk Express fishing channel. Today we're not fishing, today we're cooking. So we're gonna show you something that you never have seen it before. Let's thanks for the follow double keep keep double tap everybody. Let's go. We're 123 people live The plan is to show you guys how to make a proper jewfish. Yes, that's the one that I caught the other the other night on live Yes, here is that one Keep double tapping everybody right here right here. I want to see likes likes everywhere And make sure you get a pen and paper because we're gonna give you a recipe tonight for a proper jewfish Boji man, you'll see how we're gonna cook it tonight with chef Stefano we got a qualified chef here. I'm actually terrible on cooking, but I'm gonna get instruction from him and he's gonna show us how to do it. So you stay tuned, stay with us, grab yourself a big piece of pen and the paper, write the recipe down and we're gonna have a laugh. We're almost there, eight minutes and we're gonna start. Felice, Felice with the roses, appreciate it. Who's cooking with you? He's a qualified chef, he's Stefano which is also my best mate and he always come fishing with me. You might saw him many, many times on a, on a video that I put on TikTok. He's a chef and he also mad fishman. Yeah, he's a little mile away here, 80 centimeter. How long we got? Six minutes to go, yeah? Six minutes. I wanna see more likes right there. More likes, more likes down here. Let's go everybody. I'm sure we can do much better than that. We're dropping the views. Let's see whether we can go up again with it. Jimmy's in the house too. Jimmy, get yourself a glass of wine, sit down and enjoy the show because Stefan is gonna show us how to cook a proper way a jewfish. fish. All right, we're ready. Chef Stefan is here. He's gonna start to talk because I'm having a break. First thing, when you're cleaning up a fish or you're having a fish to clean, you have to have your cutting board it has to be, it has to be firm. So you're gonna have a nice clean space area. And you're not gonna hurt yourself. You want to work with a dry fish. You never want to work with a wet fish, which is gonna slip for everywhere. That's it. Let me know in the comments if it's chill out the music or it's all right. Let me know. So pretty much we're going straight from, straight from here, there is the bum. We go straight from the bum, goes in until you reach the bottom fin. And that's when you need to apply a bit, of, bit more pressure there is the bone inside and you can open them up and that's when you can start taking all this stuff out we move on the sink so we don't make a mess now if you do this properly you will be able to grab the gills out as well all in one go and that's it that's all the guts all in one go that's it. There is no damage, and that's what you want. Because if you damage the the interior part, they're gonna contaminate the flesh, and then when the meat is start to taste a bit funny and stuff. I can't so see any likes going on. Sorry, sure Stefano. I can't see any likes going on. Let's go. Always make sure you're gentle with the knife when it goes in. Make sure it's nothing, and then we proceed to remove the fins. One. This one guys, do never throw away this stuff. That's what you need to make. If you need to make broth or make a broth, that's what you need to use. All these parts have great flavors and are fantastic. All right, once you take off the fins, you can pretty much see where you need to cut. So you can go straight from the gills Straight down and put a sample. And uh, call a sample, eh? Yeah, but... yeah. And we go straight down. Then from the top part, and you can see where the two fillets are, because if you stand the fish up, you can see there is the spine, you follow the spine, 
that's where the fish, the two fillets are. So if you go from the head, and remember, always let the knife do the work. Don't don't start to power it. You're gonna ruin your, you're gonna ruin the skin, and you're gonna ruin your meat. And that's not what you want. Use the tip of your knife, and you're going straight in. And follow the bones. You can hear them for with the tip of your knife. You can hear you can hear the bones, and that's what you want to do. So remember this: let the knife do the work. Well, we'll leave it on the side, anyway. but it's still a very nice. Look at that! It's still. Still nice fillet of fish. As you can see in here, as you is, can see, there is just a scale in here. And look at that, this is the bones. It's perfectly filleted. And we're gonna leave it on the side for a rest and we're gonna make uh, what's going with the Jew fish, right? Um, this is the fillet. This is just the fillet that we're gonna have let it rest here. Yeah? And uh, We'll keep going with the, I don't know what Stefano what to make, something with the potato and stuff. I'm gonna make so. some potato with some baked potato. No, baked potato. There's gonna be some potato cooked in some butter and rosemary. Yeah. And then we're gonna do some grilled pumpkin as well. Grilled pumpkin. And then we're gonna do some, a bread sauce to go with it. Yeah. Don't get scared. That's a nice thing to do, to get a very nice to go with the fish. It's fantastic. You'll be surprised. You will be surprised. Yeah. So we grab all of this part because we're going to make a quick broth. Well, the chicken wings, that's definitely the best part of the fish. Um, one of these on the barbecue will definitely max the next level, eh? Uh, so we'll keep it on the side. We're not going to use it tonight, but we'll leave it for some broth or something. Uh, still very good eating some of them on the barbecue, yeah? Oh, thank you, HSP0070. Appreciate it, man. Aussie girl with okay. the tiny dining. Appreciate it. Or you can do it like we're gonna do today. We're just gonna do some roast pumpkin. So you're just gonna go through the head, through the tail, and then you start cutting through and get all the skin. We're using butter pumpkin, it's a bit sweeter than normal pumpkin and that's what we want because we're going to balance all of that out with some lemon juice that is going to go inside the, inside the, with the bread, but we're going to get there. In the meantime guys, please make sure you keep double tapping it because we only got 130 views, I'm sure we can do much better than that. Doing so, so far, we take off the skin, now you stop at this stage because what do you want to do? You want to turn on your pan. Now we have a grill, normal grill pan. You can put your steak on. It's normal one. You you start without nothing, no oil, nothing, and it has to get smoking hot. That's what you want. You want smoking hot pan. Once you get to smoking hot pan, once you take out the pan, we turn on the oven, which we already turned on before, and we put them on roast, 200 degrees. So we're taking off the seeds out. And what we want, what we want to do, we we're just going to keep it all like this and just put them on a tray. Maybe chunks that are this big, that'll be like, let's say a couple of centimeters. We go in halves. I can't see any lights going this on right here. be enough for us for now. Yeah. And then for the potato, what we want to do... What sort of potato are we using first of all? We're using baby chopped potato. Baby, baby potato? Baby chopped potato. Uh, if, you can't, if you can't find any chopped potato, you can still use a normal white potato. We got oil first. Then we got a bit of salt. Make sure you always put first the oil. So. 
the salt got something to stick to it. Then you got a bit of pepper. And then we take the thyme and we place it on the tray as well. And now we move it, waiting for the pan to get very hot. To get very hot. And we're gonna char them on the old side and then we're gonna finish them in the oven. We can get to 100k likes. For the potato instead, what we're gonna do, we're gonna give them first a quick roast with the um, with some mushroom and some garlic, just to give it a bit of flavor. So what do you wanna do? You grab yourself a tray, bit of baking powder at the bottom, and then you grab your potato, and all you do literally is cut in a half length way. All right. So this is the potato. You cut it in half this way. And before placing it on, before placing it on your tray, what you're gonna do, you grab a small knife. If you have it serrated, it's better. And what you're doing, you're just gonna go and make a little crisscross on the top of the potato. What this does, release the moisture of the potato first. So when it cooks in the oven, it's gonna release all the water and we're not gonna have water on the dish when we play it up. Got a bit of oil on top. And we're not gonna go with any pepper at the moment. We're just gonna go with salt. Be God generous with them. When you're cooking potatoes, whatever amount of salt you put in, Always, always, always about the 40, 50% of it, you're gonna lose it in the cooking process. So don't, don't get scared when, you, when you're doing this, don't be scared at all. And we're gonna go put them in 200 degrees, let's say for 10, 15 minutes. And then when, they, when they've done these 10, 15 minutes, we're gonna pass them on the chart, grill them again as well. And we're gonna finish them in the, in the pan with some butter and some mushroom as well. Best part, it will be to use, I already have myself already made some Croutons. I just take some bread. This, in this case, is just some rye bread. Cutting, I cutting all cubes. Just some salt, some oil, and I put it in and I place it in the oven, 200 degrees until it gets nice and crispy. Because what you want to do with this, it's pretty, pretty simple. So you put them in the oven. Once you get toasted, leave it out and let it cool down a bit. You grab yourself a bit of an onion and you just want a quarter, you don't want much. It just needs a bit of flavor. You don't want to overpower it. If you want, you can use some shallots as well. In that case, if you're using shallots, uh, which are a bit more, it's something between garlic and an onion, you want to put a bit of, a bit more than just this quarter of onion, because it's going to be a bit more powder. So what we're going to do, we're just going to go simple, just some julienne, go straight in. That's it. And then we go straight on a non-stick pan casserole, non-stick casserole. You want to have something a bit higher because you're going to have some stock going in as well. So it's pretty, this recipe is pretty simple and it's a really, it's a pretty much, it can be a base for most of stuff. You can use this. to make as many cream as you want. It's very simple. As well as that, we're gonna need small potato. We're gonna do the same thing. Thank you, Tariq, thank give, you so much, man. And this one is gonna give body to it. So you wanna, when you bite through it, it's just gonna give some body inside your mouth. So all we're gonna do is same, again. You want nice and fine. Don't worry about the skin, because we're gonna, we're gonna blend everything up anyway, so. Thank you so much, Tarek, for the roses. Thank you so much. This dish is going to be delicious. I bet it's going to. I'm actually watching like you guys are too. But please make sure you keep double tap because we're not putting it up the show here for 20 people on live. Keep going, please. We're gonna grab two, just two. That's what you need. Just two, you don't wanna have it overpowered because as well, 
you still need to be able to taste the fish, pumpkin and everything. Everything needs to be balanced. Okay. So we go a bit of oil inside the hot pan and we go straight in with our onion. Cooked a bit. Pan, still not hot. In here, I also already made a stock, which is just some onions and celery, some parsley and some carrots. You start with hot, with cold water, let it come to the boil. Once it boils, turn it off, leave the lid on and let your stock. You can put them in the fridge as well and it lasts at least three, four days. Or you can make inside some, you know, your ice, um, ice cube, the one that you make ice cube inside your freezer. You can put this one inside, the stock inside, have it in your fridge and that's your little uh, stock bomb when you need to have a sauce or something and use those one instead of just making your own struggle every time fresh. We don't want to have too much color on them because we still, because all you have to do is you're making a sauce, you don't want too much of, I don't want to have overpowering on onions. So I'm just going to put the potatoes in because the army and everything, that's what it makes everything stick and combine together and mushrooms is like it's like rosemary is like thyme it's very pretty simple to do it always wash it we've washed it before obviously so you go from the top part you go halfway through and then you just pull it and that's all you leave and you do the top part this part it's very like it, you can do this as well, but you can put it through as well because it's so it's so full of water and it's just gonna disappear. And then we start. At this stage, we add a bit of lemon juice. Uh, lemon juice, lemon zest, sorry. The smell is definitely next level, guys, that's for sure. So, there is, there will be a moment, a stage when the potato, as you can see, it start to get to this stage. So, they are not raw, but they start to cook. So, if you push them out all halfway, they're not gonna break. That's what you want, and that's when you start adding your bread. So, you go with the bread in, be generous, be generous with the bread, all right? So this is just toasted bread, normal toasted bread, dry bread, as I said before, it's just got some oil, some salt and some pepper, that's all it has on to it. So, as soon as the bread suck up a bit of the oil that we have inside the pan, we're gonna splash it with one, let's do two ladles of wine, of water. And we try to get halfway through. Now, that's when you need that, when it starts to be tricky. You want this one to make sure, cause it goes like pretty quick, cause you, 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 you soaking the bread up again, but you don't want it to break it up. So that's it. That's what you want to be. That's what you want to be at. Cause the bread is still holding itself up. So it means it's, it's still got some body inside and it just absorb all the flavor that we give before. That's all we did. So once you did that, now it's pretty easy. Next doing, level here guys. That's what we're doing here. Next level. Welcome to the Wog Express, Express Cooking. Catch and cook, that's what we're doing here. Stefano is absolutely next level. Let me know in the comment if you write everything down or if you miss any step, we will set it again, all right? Keep double tap because we're dropping the viewers badly. We go to 66 people live. I'm sure we can work all uh, together to get to 100K lives. Make sure we grab everything because it's flavor. There is not such a thing as too much flavor, guys. 
bit of oil, bit of paper, salt, we put before, but salt is one of these things, might never put too much salt, because you can always add it, but you can never take it out, all right? We go with the first blend. Once you go with the first blend in, you can tell how much water you still need to add. So if you look up, so we add everything and you can see it's still all chunks and stuff inside. So because of that, it means there is not enough water. So we're gonna put some more. And again, you don't wanna make too much because you can still we can still add it. Oh, we can't take it out. Uh, have a look at this cream, guys. Have a look at that. Uh, that's a nice bread cream. Have you ever tried before bread cream? I know it sounds weird, but it's very, very... It's very simple and it's very tasty. And when you have old bread, you can make it. And this one goes well with fish, goes well with meat, uh, with seafood. You can have it with heaps. Squid gill and this one. Ooh. All right, so we just got a Jewfish there that we got a, that we caught a two nights ago. We cooking with the chef Stefano in a professional way. I'm pretty bad in cooking, so he's doing all the work. Uh, we're gonna have some crispy skin Jewfish tonight with some sort of uh, bread cream and pumpkin and potato. It sounds like very tasty. Either way, we only got 50 people live. We can work all together to get to 100k likes. We're putting it up the show. If it doesn't get any viewers, I'm not sure if we're gonna do more and cooking show. So I need your support and help with some likes, yeah? We're getting a lot of requests for live, join live. So we're gonna make here, guys, and we're gonna make a small cartouche. so it doesn't get the skin. We we'll just place it on top, so it, can't, it won't make the skin, and it's gonna be nicer. I'm gonna put them in the fridge. We almost, we getting to the part where we're cooking the fish soon. Thank you for the roses, I appreciate it, man. Hot pan on, pumpkin. Uh, we haven't cooked the chewy yet. We got we got it here. It's getting much better, nice and softer. So we're gonna cook the bad boy soon. I can't wait, actually. Uh, well, the last time that I hate fish, it was probably I don't know four or five months ago. Have you ever caught a real malway? Well, it depends what you mean by real malway. Real real malway, but you can get the big one, the thirty kilo one. I wanted the little one so that I can actually eat them, buddy. We got the potato in the hover. So now we turn it. See? John Dory, you just need to take it easy. So that's why you're getting blocked. You're just putting hate comment. That's why you're getting blocked. Have a look at the pumpkin, guys. Have a look at the pumpkin. Got pumpkin there, potato in the oven. We're almost ready to cook the jewy. And I'm starving, I can tell you that right now. In here there is just some salt, oil. What we're cooking here is the jew fish that we just caught a two nights ago. We got Stefano here. He's making it up everything because I can't cook. He can. He's a uh, qualified chef and that's what he's doing. I'm working for you. Hold the catch and cooks making me want some fresh fish. The only bad things about living in the desert. I feel sorry for your nugget, but if you ever get all of them coming, yeah, I'll take your fish. Looks bloody beautiful. Thank you so much, Max. Truly appreciate your support. Finally, some viewers are starting getting up, so keep double tap. Have a look at the potato. Mmm, smell nice, eh? 
Yeah. Smell and looks beautiful. Yeah. All of the sides you want to have nice and charred on them. And we're going to finish them up inside the oven. The oven. And then we're going to take the potato out and we're going to finish the potato in the pan. Do you have a big freezer or just a fridge one? Uh, I just got a, a fridge that it doesn't work properly, properly and it makes freezer. That's what I've got actually. <laughs> so you got a beautiful fish that it was swimming two days ago. You don't want it ruin it with some spices on. You want to taste the fish. 100%. That's what I reckon. That's what I will say. But if you want to put some spices on it, you can put some salt, garlic powder. You can put some margarine, you can put some thyme, you can put all the herbs that you want, would go well with fish. You can make a bread, breadcrumb mix. You can make heaps of stuff with fish. But personally speaking, I wouldn't put spices on it. Because you don't want to taste the fish, mate. I don't want to, I don't want to taste the spices and stuff. You know, sauce, mate. Then you grab your pumpkin, and what do you want to do? You just want to place them on top. And uh, we do, we go out with a bit more. Thanks, Daniel. Thanks, Brianna Dion, for the follow. Appreciate and it. Goes in. Michael Filardi, appreciate your follow, man. See ya. That's it, straight in the oven. Leave him in there for a bit. This one, we're going to take it off. We don't need it anymore. Neither anymore. Now, we start, let's grab the pan. This is the base for the potato. This is the best part where we're going to fish the, are we going to cook the Jewfish or not? Soon. Soon we're going to cook. This one. After this one, there we're going to cook. Guys, there is, unfortunately, there is no point for me to cook the Jewfish straight away if the potatoes and all, and all of them are not ready. I want to see you do crispy skin. Okay, we do, we do one. We do just one bit straight away so you guys can see. I like those those cooking lives, bro. I appreciate the darkness, but it doesn't give me enough viewers. I need to change something on this live. Because when I fish, I get three, 400 people, but when I'm cooking, maybe it's not so much. Keep double tap, everybody. Bit Only on. with the likes we will get the viewers, guys. Just with the likes. Give it a bit of space in between. Is that what is I mean, Kimbo? No clothes on. Oh, well, not now. It's fucking <laughs> freezing out there. <laughs> and then the garlic as well. And some more rosemary. And then turn it down a Spice bit. Spice it up. Well, I'm not looking so good naked, so. <laughs> <laughs> Have a look at those potatoes in the it. butter. And that's it. Ready to rock and roll? Okay, so, so far we show you how to do the pumpkin, how to do the potato. We've done um, a, a bread cream, which is another good thing that it goes with the fish. Oh, look at those potato guys, all right? That's absolutely next level, eh? And that's them. Felicia Storina, appreciate your support. And now we're gonna put them all closer because we're gonna do what you guys might see heaps of time with steak and stuff. In Italy, we call it a nut party, which is just dropping. Just keep on bake them pretty much what we're doing here. We keep on bake them so the butter will go inside this small cut that we made before. And we're just gonna give nice flavor all the way through. I cook my fish most of the time on its skin. So let's say that a fish you will cook it for the fifth for more than the 80 percent 85 percent it's on the skin side and then when you're flipping it you just need to give it a bit of like not not even a couple of minutes because the heat of the pan it will be enough to cook the fish all the, all the way through So here's the trick for the for the crispy skin one. You need to get the pan extremely hot. 
like extremely hot. You know what I'm saying? Hot, hot. That's what you need to do for a crispy skin one. You grab a couple of pieces of paper. What do you want to do is just make sure that that skin is dry. So put it down and leave it. You want it dry, no water. In the meantime, we're having the pan extremely hot. We're getting that done very, very hot. That's the, uh, the With the, the potato, the we keep on turning them halfway through. All right, so they keep on cooking both sides, bottom and top. So Fishing with the malakas, see. what's going on? Pan, it is hot. What you're gonna do is fish. Salt. And that's it. Now, in the pan, guys, has to be just, that's it. That's all you need. You don't need too much. Because otherwise, you're gonna burn the fish, and you're gonna burn the oil, and the oil is gonna leave all the smell to the fish. You're gonna put a skin down. That's what you wanna hear. In it, what we say in this case that the pen is singing. You want to hear the pen singing. Can you hear the pen? That's what you want to hear. So once you get to this stage, you press it down a bit so you make sure all the skin gets touched the pen and then you leave it. Make sure every now and then you go and have a look and you turn the heat down. Because the pen is hot enough, all you gotta do, all you need now is to keep the temperature. You don't want it to do it. Every now and then you can move it around just to make sure the skin hasn't stuck to the bottom. And all you can do is just move the pen as I did before, or you just move it upside down. And that's all you do. You just leave it. Thank you for the likes, guys. You keep on leaving them. We're putting it up a show for 50 people. Definitely not worth it for us. But all you can do, guys, is to grow our viewers, is keep double tapping it. And uh, so far we we done some potato, which they looks absolutely mad. Jewfish, crispy skin. That's actually Malawi crispy skin. And then we got some potato in the oven. And uh, I'm, I'm starving, I can tell you that. That's, uh, that's for sure. Bike Life 656, thank you so much. Oh, we got a treasure box from Typical Aussie with 200 coin in it. Thank you so much, man. Oh, the tiny dining. I appreciate it, man. Oh, thank you for the snack as well. That's next level. Ride it all day underscore Scott. Thanks, Scott. Thank you for the finger hat as well. That really means a lot to us. LX, what's going on? Thank you so much. Guys, everybody make sure you go and follow my Instagram as well, The Walk Express. That is our first live of cooking show. We're definitely gonna make some changes on our next live. We're definitely not gonna have the Jewfish frozen, that's for sure. <laughs> um, but we are working on it, right? So please do not hate us. We're just trying to put up the show for you all, having a good time. And, uh, you know, we're working hard on it. We could be with our family, but we just decided to be with you, Zol, and try to give you a way on how to cook a Jewfish when you catch one or a snapper, because this way you can cook any sort of fish. It's not just a Jewfish. It can be anything, all right? That's a nice fillet of Malawi that we got it. John Dory, my chef is a little bit upset with you because you said that the crispy skin is not gonna happen, but he can't wait to, to show you the crispy skin, John. Sarah Queen, beautiful 32, appreciate your request of live, but we're doing a cooking show, but we'll have a live together another time if it's okay with you. Guys, typical Aussie just drop a, um, a treasure box in 30 seconds, 200 coin in, eh? Thank you for sharing the live, Kaliski. We're almost there so far anyway. 
for all the newbies in there, we welcome to our channel. So far, we're cooking our Jewfish and Malloway with some potatoes, which we've done with the butter and rosemary. Oh, Michael with the fairy bread, appreciate it. We got some pumpkin in. We got some pumpkin in the oven going on. Um, and absolutely next level here, guys. Gangster, I'll get you another time. Have a look at those potato tin. Thank you to all the gifters. You guys are making our show going on. If you can also keep double tapping it, that all means a lot for us, all right? And here's the Jewfish with a little bit of oil in there. Have a look at that. Fish not dry enough. Uh, I think it'll be enough, enough dry. But next time we'll definitely make it better. This is our first time doing the show on live, so do not be upset. Do, do not be an expert of cooking. Um, we will make things better in the next few lives. Don't worry about it. Eat a potato. Well, I will eat them all if I could, but the chef is getting upset with me. Is that time? Yeah. Oh, that looking good. That looking very good, this G fish. Oh, what about that one? That's looking absolutely mad. Hey, John. He just like he just like to stare you up, eh? He just like to stare. Have a look at that fish. Deadly. Absolutely mad. With those potato and with the bread cream that we made it with some pumpkin. I think I'm gonna die tonight. That's what I feel like it. Oh, have a look at that. What do you think? Is it crispy or no? What do you think? I think it is nice and crispy actually. 120k likes. Thank you so much so far to all of you. For all the news in there, uh, we just almost finished the show of cooking the Malloway that we just got two nights ago. We made a few mistakes tonight, which we're not going to do it again on the next cooking show. So far, Chef Stefano, he made a bread cream, uh, some potato with the butter, a nice Malloway crispy skin, some pumpkin in the oven. That's how you're going to get it. That's how you're going to get it cooked in a, in a restaurant way. We miss you too, Rebecca. We really miss you too. Kimbo, 100%. That's next level, Joey. Thank you so much, Gonda69. I'm glad you enjoyed our show. Hopefully next time we can make a little bit better with some more viewers. We're working on it. Here's the cream, the bread cream. Here's the potato, which we're gonna heat them up. And the Jew fish is almost there. 62 people live. Let me know how many of you all would love to try this Jewfish cooked in that way. We are about to plate him up. So right now, make fish and chips next time. Hmm, what's the goal with fish and chips? You can buy them. Guys, right now, please go, in, go hard on 150k likes because we are about to plate him up. And I need to see some shares as well, some likes, because we are literally at the end of the live. Thank you for the treasure box again, typical Aussie. Appreciate it, man. Oh, yeah. yeah, come in. Reality underscore Scott would love wow. to try one. Where do you want to put it? Yeah, let's put it here. All right. Let me flip this camera over because everything is ready. Cut a piece and pause on me. Crispy enough, Johnny? No hate is here, mate. That's what I like to hear. First, to do some bread cream. One, two, and a bit more. Then, we're gonna Add our potato.
Then the pumpkin, we go just enough. One, two. HSV0070, hope you enjoy the show, man. Biggest, one of the biggest supporter, HSV0070. Lebo living life, appreciate your support, man. That means a lot. Looks good. Now I want to try. Sure, I will try for you, buddy, and I'll let you know how it is. Future tomato. And uh, you want some color. And some color. It actually also looks very good. It looks good too much. I'm glad you enjoy it. I'll let you know how it does it test in a minute, that's man. It. That's it. Okay, just the final conclusion before I try. Stefan, just stand next to me. Okay, so this is how Chef Stefano made the Jewfish for us tonight. Uh, that's my version. That's his version. If you liked it, Jewfish, Tyris. We got some Jewfish with a, a bread cream, pumpkin, potato, cherry tomato. A pl plate like that, it will definitely cost you over 40 bucks at the restaurant anywhere in Australia. Um, this so one, it for what we, we took us today, it cost us $26. $26, you can make it, you can have it, and that's it. So if you guys like it, you need to make sure you subscribe to our channel. You need to make sure you follow us on Instagram. Uh, the Walk Express, we're gonna be doing a little bit more of cooking show. Uh, we definitely gonna make sure the fish is not frozen next time. Uh, I'm gonna test it for you all. How much does it cost? At least between 38 and 40 bucks. A plate like this anywhere no, in, in a restaurant. restaurant. That's in a much. restaurant. This one, it will cost you for one portion of, let's say for 500 grams of uh, of the Jew fish, this one is gonna cost you round about not even 10 bucks because it's just potato, one pumpkin, and cherry tomatoes. That's it, and bread. And now I'm gonna but try you can for always you find it. So now, moment of the truth. I'm gonna test let it me. and let you know how it is, yeah? I can't cut the skin, actually, it's too, too crispy. And I'm gonna have a little bit of potato. Oh, yeah, well, look at that. A little bit of pumpkin. You want to have a full flavor in your mouth? Is that correct, Stefano? Yes. Or you can have a bit of everything. I will say, have it like this with a bit of bread cream as well, and then just have the juice by itself. My gosh, guys. Absolutely next level, eh? That's absolutely next level. Yeah. Good. Thumbs up. Well done, Stefano. Thank you. This is hard to watch. <laughs> <coughs> Guys, absolutely fantastic dinner. Absolutely next level dinner. I'm gonna have a little bit more and then I'm gonna be waiting for my wife. See whether she can have a... Okay, yeah. because she's on the way. Um, Next level, guys. Next time we will cook something that Stefano can actually hear as well because I feel better so far. Thank you, Sam Paul907 for the roses. Thank you, Typical Ozzy. I hope you all have a good night. I love you all. Uh, keep up the great work and um, I'll pro hopefully tomorrow, if it's not raining, we'll be doing some more fishing. Maybe we'll get another Jew, who knows? All right, bye for now.